everybody, my name is Scott Waters and welcome to the Left to Metal. I'm going to do a contest entry here. There's a ton of contests going around the VC right now um, and I just don't have time to do them all. Um, but this one I thought was kind of an interesting question. Um, it's by Jared or uh, Back With Metal, it's his contest. For all I know this contest could be over with already. I wrote it down because I wanted to do it. Uh, if it's over with, I apologize. But regardless, check out Back With Metal channel. Um, but his uh, question was, show me some sloppy seconds. Sloppy second records. Um, you know, albums where you love, bands where you love the first album and the second one just wasn't quite as good. Um, and I honestly started having a hard time doing this. I'm rifling through records. I'm like, all right, man, all these records I love. All right, Testament. Their second album wasn't as good. I don't really do like their second album, though. No. <laughs> uh, Anthrax. Uh, no, really love their second album. Man, how about Sirius Ungol? No. I love all those bad second albums. So finally I just gave up trying to find ones that I didn't like at all. So what I'm going to do is show albums that I don't think are quite as good as the first album. Even though I like the first album a lot, I like the second album too. So that's kind of where we're going to be at. So Sloppy Seconds. This first band is TT uh, Quick. And um, this is uh, Medal of Honor, their first full-length album. They had an EP before this. Of course, uh, Mark um, Pernito now is in uh, Accept. But this is just a fantastic album. Um, I think kind of a, a band that should have made it much bigger than they did, but maybe they were just a little late for the time. I don't know. I saw these guys live with Hellstar back in the early 80s, and they were fantastic. Regardless, their second album was called Sloppy Seconds. So why not do a Sloppy Seconds video featuring Sloppy Seconds? Um, it's a good album. I like this album a whole lot. Is it, is it as good as Medal of Honor? I don't think quite as good. Although there's some great stuff on here. Love the song Isolation Booth. Uh, Eye of the Storm is on here. Um, Method of Madness. White Spots, which is a classic song about liking the girls, you know, white spots where she doesn't tan. Anyhow, um, great album, but not quite as good as their first album. This one might surprise a lot of people because you, if you watch my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm a huge Ted Nugent fan. I think this album right here is just one of the greatest albums of all time. Love Nugent. Love his entire catalog, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I don't think that Free For All was quite as good as uh, the first Ted Nugent album. Do I think it's a bad album? Heck no, I love this album. <laughs> I love them both. But no, I mean, this album has, you know, songs like Stranglehold, Stormtroop, and Hey Baby, Snake Game Cowboy, Motor City Madman. I mean, those are songs that are still played live by him today. This one has some timeless classics as well, like the title cut. But I mean, overall, uh, together, hammer down, writing on the wall, light my way, street rats. I told you so. I told you so. I told you a lie. Turn it up. None of those songs are really as memorable or classic as the stuff on the first album. Still, for a new fanatic like me, I love this album and I love everything on here. Um, I think Hammer Down is a great song, very underrated. But regardless, Ted Nugent's second album, um, Free for All. His third album, of course, was a monstrous release for him, Cat Scratch Fever. Uh, this next band is uh, was actually a pretty easy choice for me. Again, I like the first album a lot. I like the second album too, but Udo, Udo, this is Animal House, the very first release from, from uh, Udo. This sounds like classic Except. Matter of fact, this sounds more like Except than the album Except did at the same time as this one. Um, still, this is just a killer album. Every song on here is great. Animal House, Go Back to Hell, Warrior, Run for Cover, Lay on the Law. Uh, this is not a bad song on here. Top to bottom, this is a killer album. Second album, the follow-up, Mean Machine. Good album, but does it have the same amount of memorable songs? Not really. Um, Break the Rules is a killer, timeless song. Um, but Don't Look Back, Break the Rules, uh, We're History, Painted Love, Still in Love With You, Catch My Fall, Sweet Little Child. It's a good album, I like it a lot, and I do spin it regularly, but is it good, as good as the first album? I don't think so, it's not quite as good, so thus my choice. Um, this is an easy. This was an easy one, and, and again, I like the second album, but this is an absolute classic. You know, um, ex -anth Anthrax and Nuclear Assault guys getting together um, and putting out this one supposedly one-time album. This was S.O.D. The Storm Troopers of Death. Speak English or Die. Complete tongue-in-cheek um, hardcore thrash over crossover album, and it's a killer. I'm not, I don't know a thrash fan alive who wouldn't agree. And uh, it was, like I said, just, just a one-off album, but it was a great album. It was fun. It was funny. Um, if you didn't get the joke, then you probably have your underwear on too tight. But it's just a solid album from the Stormtroopers of Death. The follow album, which came out two, almost two decades later, Bigger Than the Devil. I don't have that one on vinyl. It's I only have it on CD. Good album? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Is it as good as that, as that first album? No way. It's just not. 
20 years later, I wouldn't expect it to be, and it just wasn't. Alright, continuing on, one of the greatest Doom albums of all time, in my opinion. This is Trouble. Uh, this album is now called Psalm 9, but here it was just straight up Trouble. Uh, I guess the name Psalm 9 because in the back it had the scripture reference up here of Psalm 9. But originally it was just self-titled. Of course, it released another self-titled album, four albums from this one. And uh, I always love the artwork on this one. It's very cool. Great album. There's not a bad song on here. And one of the greatest songs I ever wrote is on here, uh, The Tempter. Killer song. Um, the follow-up, The Skull. As good? Nope. Do I like it? A lot. <laughs> I really do. Uh, I do remember when this first came out, people were disappointed with it. The reviews weren't, you know, stellar. Uh, people were saying it wasn't as good. And honestly, I can kind of tell why. It's, it's like, again, it's not a bad album. It's just not quite as memorable, as good as the first album. Um, Pray for the Dead, Fear No Evil, The Wish, Truth Is What It Is, um, Wickedness of Man, Gideon, and The Skull. Not a whole lot of, you know, timeless classics on that one that you would just, you know, associate immediately with Trouble. Um, unlike a song like The Tempter, which, of course, that's one of the first things you think of, so. Trouble! Uh, this one... This one I forgot to grab the follow-up to. <laughs> so I'm going to pull that one up. I'll show it to him. This is uh, Savage, Loose, and Lethal. I do have the follow-up on vinyl, too, and I just forgot to grab it. Um, this is a new wave of British heavy metal classic. The follow-up's good, too. Again, just not nearly as good. Um, this is on Ebony Records from, what, 82, I think it was. Um, just a, a classic album from that time period. And the follow-up is good, too. Like I said, a very similar style. A little more commercial than this one, but still follows up pretty well. Um, but Loose and Lethal, there's, it's just a classic and out and out classic. Sorry, I forgot to grab the other one. It's actually sitting in a pile over there, but I'm not redoing the whole video for one record. Uh, major label debut for this band who previously had only released an EP. Um, this is Armored Saints, March of the Saint on Charisma Records. Um, even their debut I thought was great, though I think it's great. I think the, the production holds it back a little bit, only because it doesn't have that raw that it could have had. Um, it's on a major label, so it kind of given that major label treatment. Um, but regardless, there's just not a bad song on here. Every song on here is, you know, you think immediately of Saint, Armored Saint. March of the Saint, Can You Deliver, Madhouse, Seducer. I mean, these are all classics, False Alarm. These, you know, these are all songs that are still being played by Armored Saint when they do shows today. Uh, the follow-up album, same label, Charisma, um, Delirious Nomad. Again, a killer record. I like this record a lot. Is it quite as good as the first one? No. It doesn't quite have the same memorable songs, you know, the, the timeless classics that you expect them to play over and over and over again. Still, it has some good songs on here. Uh, the Laugh, Conqueror, Nervous Man, Long Before I Die, Aftermath, In the Hole. Uh, a good album, but no, not quite as good as the first album. <sighs> this one I kind of debated showing because I, I really honestly love the second album as, and I've seen them on both these tours. This is uh, Dio, the band, Ronnie James Dio's band. Um, and I think this is just an out and out classic. It's a feel good heavy metal record. Saw him on this tour, Twisted Sister opening at uh, the Tower Theater in Philadelphia. Great show. I'll never forget it. And uh, a great album. There's not a bad song on here. I don't know a Dio fan alive who wouldn't put this at the top of his list. Follow up album, Last in Line. A bad album? Heck no. I love this album too. Is it as good as the first album? Some might say it is. Um, I don't think it quite is, although there's, I mean, there's almost as many memorable songs on here as are in here. You know, We Rock, Last in Line, Breathless, um, Eat Your Heart Out, Evil Eyes. I mean, it's a, it's a good album, and, and again, it's got some timeless classic on it. But is it as good as this one? I don't know, it's up for debate. Uh, it was a toss-up for me. <laughs> I, I actually debated that between that one and, and Fastway's first two albums. Both of them, I feel like, I like them both. So it's kind of hard to say the second one's not as good, but... All right, moving on. Otherwise, I'm trying to keep this video short so I don't uh, bore you guys. Um, this one is uh, easy, one of my favorite albums from this band, and I do love this band. I'm a, it's Flats Till Death, Flotsam and Jetsam. Uh, I'm a fanatic of this band, and I have been since I bought this album as a new release. Um, discovered this band, I think it was on, a, on one of the Metal Blade compilations when I was in, I think, in high school. Uh, I bought this as a new, new release, and man, I think if you're just the right age, if you were around when this album was brand new, this album is generally held as a classic to those people. Um, to me, this is an out and out timeless classic that I hold up in the same regard as you, you know, would the Kill 'Em All or uh, um, anything by, you know, Megadeth or Anthrax or any of those bands that came back then. 
this album is just that good to me. Um, again, you've got, of course, Jason Newsted on here, who went on to be with Metallica, everybody knows that. But it's not because of him, it's just because of the songs that are so fantastic. Every song on here is a classic. Iron Tears, Desecrator, Fade to Black, Hammerhead, Doomsday for the Deceiver, Metal Shock, She Took an Axe, US, ULSW, and Defuhrer. I mean, there's just the whole album, front to back, solid as a rock. There's nothing bad about it. Pure speed metal, pure thrash. It's a great album from them. The follow-up, major label debut on Electra Records. Yeah, it's good. I like it a lot. I think it's a great album. As good as the first album? No. Not, not as good. Um, first of all, these, this, the cover of Saturday Night's Alright for Fighting. Mm. I really think that was probably forced on them by their label, um, looking for a hit. Um, but yeah, there's some good stuff on here, especially uh, I Live You Die, which is an older song that was written around this time. Um, but yeah, it's a good album. I like it a whole lot. It's one of my all-time favorites. But is it as good as this one? No. It's the Sloppy Seconds. Uh, last one I'm going to show um, for this uh, edition is a uh, German heavy metal band, Grave Digger. This is uh, Heavy Metal Breakdown. This is a U.S. pressing, thus the United States over here. I don't have an original German pressing. I would love to because the track order is a little different. Um, I have one on CD, just not on vinyl. Uh, regardless, this album is just a perfect album in my opinion. I just love every song on here. Uh, Shooter Down is a classic. They actually put an EP out called Shooter Down. Uh, Heavy Metal Breakdown is one of their all-time classic songs that they still play live today. Uh, Headbanging Man, uh, We Want to Rock You. I mean, it's cheesy, yep, but it was perfect for the times, and I love this album. always like the cover art, too. The follow-up, good album, but not quite as good as the, the opener. Um, is there anything on here that's uh, classic and timeless? I think so. Um, the title track, Shine On, there's a few you know, very good songs on here. Um, is it quite as good as the first album? In my opinion, no. But I do like it. <laughs> um, so there you go. That's my sloppy seconds. Some of the albums I think the sophomore release um, wasn't quite as good as the uh, first release. There, there was just tons. I really spent quite a bit of time digging through albums looking for, okay, this was not as good as that. But there's just so many. I actually was having a harder time finding albums that were bad seconds than I was finding albums that I loved that in seconds. Uh, like I said, uh, Ride the Lightning by Metallica, it, that's a killer album. And it followed up Kill Them All, which to me was one of my favorites because it was when I discovered them. But can I say it's a sloppy seconds? Heck no. <laughs> um, so even most of these were like that for me. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you guys can think of some sloppy seconds, um, that put them on the, maybe I forgot something because I really was having a hard time coming up with stuff. So uh, yeah, leave some below if you could think of any. Uh, and do check out Jared's channel, Backwards Metal. And that's it. Hope you appreciate it and enjoy this video. God bless and stay strong.